G'day guys, Luke the Drifter here, and uh, just sitting at home uh, in the evening and uh, in front of the fire, which is my nice little spot here. Uh, I've sent some um, film clips to, to Jacob, he's over in, over in Czech Republic, and I've been sending him some of the trips, the videos of the trip we did uh, out back, and um, yeah, we sort of did a bit of a trip out for a week and a bit, out Broken Hill Way, and uh, I wasn't really planning on doing a, a video, but you know, uh, we just shot a few uh, little clips on the phone, just on, all on the iPhone. Uh, so it's not brilliant, but it shows a bit of what we did. And uh, But anyway, we didn't do an intro, and Jake asked me to do an intro, so here we are. Um, anyway, so yeah, you know, we just uh, just went out. I wanted to go to Broken Hill and back, uh, sort of southwest corner of New South Wales. This is just a little map, Outback New South Wales. Great map, this one. And what we did is uh, start up your mum's farm, which is out the back of Orange, and went through Forbes, uh, Hillston, uh, Pooncary, Broken Hill, and then um, back west through Menindee, Ivanhoe, and back to uh, Parks and Forbes again and home. So, yeah, it's just a beautiful, great loop, some beautiful country. It's gorgeous out there at the moment. We've had a lot of rain the last few months, and uh, the country's looking brilliant which is really nice to see. So anyway, yeah, uh, Jake's doing a bit of a video. I've sent him, sent him some clips and, you know, I really wanted to test out the new uh, rooftop tent as well, which we've sort of done. You know, we had a lot of rain, we had a bit of snow, we've had uh, pouring rain at mum's farm and, uh, you know, each night we had some good rain. So the tent held up really well. Uh, I really love the way the, the awning, we could work off, off the driver's side of the, uh, of, of the truck and I didn't really uh, need to use my normal awning so that worked really well got to test out some of our good gear iron wood table was great the new fire table the drifter stockton fire table was awesome and uh, you know we don't have a lot of room in the back of the 76 because I've got vertical drawers I've only got about this much space and I've got my fridge and I've got my top drawer with my four drive gear you know a bit, bit of uh, spares and whatever and my kitchen drawer down the bottom. So I don't have actually a lot of room. And I've, I had the back seat though, which is good. So uh, anyway, we got some good gear and we had a nice little trip, uh, beautiful country and some nice camps. You know, each night we just camped basically off in the scrub. What I do is if I'm driving, you know, along a track, I'll just look for even the tiniest little green speck of national park, state forest, reserve, whatever. Uh, and I just, you know, pull in there, find a little dirt road, and I try to get 100 metres off the road so that, you know, people can't see you, which is, you know, what I like to do. And and you just um, find a bit of spare ground, grab a bit of wood and, and camp the night and then um, move on the next day. So, yeah, had a very relax relaxing trip. And uh, here's a little intro and show you. So, yeah, I mean, it's not the best video, it's just off my phone. Hopefully it's not too much wind noise, stuff like that. But uh, the problem too is I've got his, you know, little Kaido, he's up the, he's been up the Cape with Shawno. And uh, so he's, since he's nine years old, Kaido's been my cameraman. And he's, he's you know, he's always really keen. Dad, let's do a video, Dad, let's do a video. I'm like, yeah, mate, right. And he's been so keen, little Kaido, such a good kid. And But he's, you know, he's 18, he's 19 now, and he's his own man, and he's off with Shawno. And um, I've lost my cameraman, so... A little bit sad, but uh, you know I've got Darren in there too, and she's just sort of starting to learn how to hold a camera because it's not easy. Being a camera person is not easy, and um, kind of has been a really good. He's been great at it. He knows which shots to get, and you know making videos is not easy either. So um, a lot of people have been saying, you know, why aren't you doing any more videos, stuff like that. One, we've been just extremely busy. And two, I've lost my cameraman a little bit. And Kyle's been very busy too with his own truck and he's working flat out for Drifter. And um, so that's the main reason. I love to do videos, but we've just been so busy and uh, my little cameraman's sort of grown up. So we'll try to get him to do some more, but I've also, you know, we've got a business, 100 staff, we've got more than 100 staff. And I tell you, that's a handful. It's a lot of work every day, every week. And I've got enormous weeks and, um, you know, it's not like I'm just doing videos, um, you know, it's just when I get some time and I don't often have a lot of time. So I just do it when I can. And uh, anyway, here's a little video 
sorry it's just been filled on my phone it's all we had at the time and uh but i've got a few more videos coming up and uh we'll hopefully get some more out for you anyway there's a bit of intro hope you're doing well and good on you Right, so we camped here tonight, and a good steady rain coming down. So, yeah, we got a little camp set up, a couple of black wraps just to kick things off the ground over here. And uh, with this little setup I did, let's uh, drift the bucket. And I just um, cut it in half, put some holes in it and that, and look at that. So I've looped paper towel holder through, and now I've got the paper towel holder over the bucket, which is a bin. Just hooked on some hooks. So we've got a little IGT sitting there, and uh, just for Stockton. A little coffee table here again, just keeping stuff off the ground. And here's little Downy. Hello, baby. Yeah. <coughs> you warm enough? Yeah. So, what we've got is fire table and charcoal. And just lift that lid up again, have a look. What do you got in there? Uh, lamb curry. It's lamb curry? Yeah. Cool. I'm not going to bother with a fire tonight, call me. Mm -hmm. Set up camp, it was getting dark and raining and really that, you know, the cook pot's all we need. Bit of nice atmosphere. So, oh there's my beer. Fridge there. And a few mozzies around. And have a look over here. So no, we've got a little um, awning, bloody ripper, lucky. It's got a light hanging up there and this whole area is now covered. Yeah, so that's the ripper. You know, steady rain like this. That's the go away, you got all this room and it just clips on, so three clips. Up there, cut the poles. Huge amount of cover over the door. You know, I can leave the door open there now. And still get up and down and still get access to the car. So, yeah, it's been pouring all day and we set that up. I won't cut that now, but it's, the mattress is dry. So... And with this little awning as well, right, there's not that much of a gap. You know, it's a bit of a gap, but it's not much of a gap between here and around here. Back in the shade, the shelter. So, look at that little toy cook pot. 50 bucks, a bit of charcoal. What else do you need? Now, a few mozzies around, so I got the lights. Put my light bars on orange. And, uh, and that's it. First night out west. Sort of 50 k's west of Forbes, I suppose. And it's going pretty good. We're dry, we're warm, and we're cooking dinner. Just pulled up a quick lunch. We got it at the uh, IGT extension bench. A couple of adjustable drifter poles. They're the best thing ever. With those adjustable poles means you can use your IGT bench anywhere. Got the little induction cooker out. Less than a minute, you got the water boiling. Suck on the amps, look at that. 182 amps. This should be reading 100%. It's uh, a little bug in the siren at the moment, but it's actually fully charged, so it's probably 99% now. 
That'll reset itself later. Yeah, the 2000 watt inverter, twin lithium, 125, so you've got 250 amp hours, and that's what means you can suck big amps like that. Pretty good setup. So, yeah, pack it pretty well. Seen a lot of people today, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. Not really. I haven't seen anybody, which is pretty nice. Okay. All right, here we are, second night camp. Fire pit going, it's beautiful timber. Oh, the heat this is putting out, unreal. Got a little fire pit windshield. That's working great, just reflects that heat back in as well. The fire drift to Stockton fire table. A couple of little lanterns. It's these um, solar puff lanterns. And look at this. What's going on here, Darren? <laughs> sticky rice. Traditional Thai <laughs> sticky rice. Who else can come with sticky rice? Like Thai cook pot. Another oh, thing there. Charcoal going. It's a special pot. Basically, there's water in there. Tony's had this rice soaking most of the day. And in there is just rice. So I've got to carry this basket, but sticky rice is oh, it's so good. <laughs> you could live live on that. Well, not bad. Beautiful day driving today. Gorgeous countryside and beautiful camp here, just near a little creek and lots of wood around, very quiet. Just what you're after when you're travelling. Stars are out, so not going to get rained on. And Darren's got a bit of marinated meat. How are you going to cook the meat? Real. Grill it. Yes. And sticky rice, so that would be pretty good. Radio. Okay, so packing up camp. Might just show you how this awning sort of clips together. But uh, yeah, it's a great little setup. Three poles out here. So it comes with three poles, three ropes. And you just set it up like that. So it provides really good space underneath here. Yeah. So it covers the ladder and that's the ladder cover. So how that attaches, I'm just showing here too, so now you can't leave pillows and stuff in here, but what we're leaving in here is I've got three Three blankets. This is an electric 12 volt blanket, so I'm leaving three blankets in there. And uh, this has also got the extra thick mattress. So, you know, to un unhook this, very simple. There's three clips. You got this one over here, two, and three. That's it, comes off, 
Now these little clips here, they can stay here. So they come uh, with it. And you've got to put that in between this piece here and this piece here. So there's two little hooks there for the or connection points for the fly. And this um, clip goes in between those. I'll show you a bit more later. Anyway, that's it. Roll it up, put it in the bag. And so last night it started raining. I set that up real quick. And all I did was just, yeah, jump up, three clips, pull it out, couple of poles, and we're done. So those, that little annex is available separately to the rooftop tent, but you can buy them. We have them coming and uh, works really well. Okay guys, I'm going to pack up and keep heading west. See you. Hey guys, uh, yeah, just setting up camp, put up for the night, it's about five o'clock and nice little spot here out of the wind and out of the way. So what I was going to quick show is the Drifter fire table and uh, I've got that sitting in the back of the truck and this is the bag for the ladder. The fire table is about the size of the ladder bag so they fit really well together. So basically I've got the fire table on the bottom, ladder on top and they just fit real nice there together. So another thing I just realised today or this morning when I went to pack away look at that so the small drifter coffee table look at that fits in there and fits inside the bag so not a bad little tip just for a bit of safe spacing safe spacing and anyway a couple of clips there all right open it up two more clips I lock that together and then it just opens up a bit like a card table and there's a center bar comes out clips in for support now this is only a very lightweight table and that's what we wanted so just be a little bit careful when you set it up you know just don't be too rough with it because it is a lightweight table all right now that can just go straight out the top and that's it it works really good like that uh, this is basically heat proof there are however a couple of plastic fittings here and here and uh so you really want to make sure you're using the fire pit on the base stand, okay? Which brings it up nice and level, okay? So it's designed to use with the base stand. If you've got one of the imported fire pits that doesn't come with the base stand, then you can buy one from us. Drifter's got a base stand that we can sell you as well. So, but that's important. Um, it's level like that. And another thing is iron grill table will fit off here really well. I might just grab that and throw it on. T3 and that's uh, just sitting in the back of the truck. I've made up some short adjustable legs. See that? So they work really well on this here. Okay, what you need to do is the IGT connector hooks and that's T3 
two of those. That's it. Now, there's a small thing to show you. There's a bracket here, and that means that bracket gets in the way of this here. So the brackets are on these two sides, which means these two sides here, you can easily connect this on anywhere you like. See that? And it doesn't interfere. It fits nice and flush like that. So you can just hook that on like that, either side. And just level this up a little bit. Now we've got a really nice little area to cook. This is all, you know, heat proof. So is this here. And um, yeah, it's so light, folds up compact. I think it's, you know, we're very limited for space on this trip, just me and Darren and, you know, heading out west for a week. And, uh, but yeah, I really wanted to bring that because it's light, it is pretty compact and it really provides the base for your fire pit cooking. Uh, this little table so again just a light little camp table next to your chair you know put your drinks on you always need little tables for putting things on similar style all right again it's lightweight so just be you know a little bit gentle with it and you do have some adjustment in these legs here all right so you can pull it out to a second height Okay, which gives a nice little table to put your beer on. So that's it. Fire's going, and uh, we're actually not going to use the charcoal tonight because such beautiful hard timber here in the outback. Yeah, we'll get some really good coals from this, so you know, um, we'll just get the fire built up a bit, put some sol solid logs on, and we'll use the coals from the fire into the charcoal cook pot because you just get really good quality coals here. So that's what we're going to do and save the charcoal for another day. All right, no worries. All right, the sun's just going down. This uh, fire pit windshield we made up, stainless steel, that's absolute ripper. Especially if you've only got two people, it just uh, directs the heat back towards you. Also provides a bit of a windshield. Darren's getting a bit of cheese and Bicky's going. And some of Luigi's legendary chilies. Great tip from Luigi that. Pickled, pickled uh, chilies on the road. Yeah, in the day when you're camping, it's all about the food, really. As long as you're warm, dry, and comfortable, then it's you want to be have the best food you can. I'm going to have a bit of lamb in this little snow peak, um, like a mini camp oven. And yeah, the rooftop tent set up. You can see I've got a little eye to eye spreader, it's a crab claw spreader by a little short one. Doesn't really need it, but you know, it's just a bit of extra support because what I've got, I'm leaving things on the roof today, tonight. I've been taking that bag off, but in that bag there, we've got charcoal and a little chainsaw and different things, a bit of spare gear. But I've left that up there. And so that little stay just helps hold it up. It does, it holds up there fine without it. But I don't know, just say you had a massive wind during the night. And also, you know, it helps to keep you a little bit peace of mind. 
Yeah, truck's been going real good. Really good. It's nice to pull up camp before five o'clock. It's sort of August now, so it just gives you a little bit of time to sort your camp out before it gets dark. You know, as soon as it hits four o'clock when I'm traveling out west or out back, I'm looking for a camp, you know. And uh, got a great little spot tonight. Just sort of off the road, out of sight, not bothering anybody. Always try to get off the road where people can't see you. And then uh, I'm not worrying them and they're not worrying me. Here's what I reckon. So, all right. Have a few nibbles and put the roast on. It's waiting for a few coals to happen and we'll put this roast on. All right, well sure enough, same as last night, the rain started just coming down a little bit. So we left the fire where it was and just moved this IGT bench in here and put up the little morning. Had to be a little careful putting it up, we didn't drop it, but we got it up okay. Three poles. And as you can see, well, it's no problem as long as you're a little sensible with the fire. You know, it's good wood. You haven't got it stoked up too high and the spark's not really going to be a problem. Anyway, we've got a uh, toy cook pot here. And the little snow peak camp oven. Small roast in there, lamb roast. A few coals on top, a few coals in there. It's got your versatile little pot going. It's rough as guts, look at it. Rough as guts. But that's the secret of this clay shell that, you know, fits in. So it's not heavy and uh, it's a great universal bit of gear. Anyway, now we're just going to sit down and relax. Little solar puffs are awesome, eh? Had them on the windscreen today. Just uh, charging up. And we've got the little zebra mugs down here. Easy to know whose is who. Yours the pink one and mine's <laughs> the blue one. Yeah. But they're insulated stainless steel. So I sort of, I thought I packed a couple more mugs, but I didn't. So this is all we got. But you know, wine in there, white wine, coffee in the morning, wine at night, cup of tea during the day. There's actually nothing else you really need. Beautiful sort of soft enamel, double skin, stainless. So they got a stainless lid for them as well. So you don't really need much else. Yeah, the IGT is so good. We've got a double chop board in there. And these here see that? I had three plates. So that's a one unit size. So I had three of those. And I've just put them all three all three together which makes room for the chop board. So, you know, in the morning I'll put the uh, little stove in there. The GS450 stove. Anyway, let's have a look at camp from out here. Yeah, just starting to spit a bit of rain, but better to put it up now than later and storm clouds were coming. But as you can see, we've got shelter from the rain over the tent. We've got plenty of room for all that cooking. 
we've got a big setup fire fire table igt two chairs coffee tables two coffee tables and look at that the rain is just starting to come anyway this uh uniflame fire table as well that's the large one and tell you what i don't go anywhere without that it is also so versatile. Stainless steel top, you can do anything with it. It's nice height for the fire table. Tough as nails, so that's something I would just take every time. You know, I won't go anywhere without, say, my fire pit and the cook pot, fire table, charcoal starter. You know, they're sort of essentials, you know. And yeah, this fire windshield has been a really good. Really pleased I bought that. Everything else going good. The tent is a ripper. Oh, that little mattress. Yeah, I'll talk more about the mattress later because you know, it's maybe confusing a few people. There's nothing wrong with the mattress as it comes, right? Cotto's sleeping in it. shauno has got one. Nothing wrong with it. It's pretty good, but you know me, I always like to do better if I can, and if I can, I will. So, we, you know, we've only, I only just thought of it the day before I left coming up here, you know, because it's got, there's a hard, a 40 mils of, of hard foam, and that's to sort of take the gap between the, the struts. So I thought if I can replace that with three mil, it gives me extra space that I can use a, a deeper mattress that's what we did but I'll show you I'll do a bit more video later about that but again if you got one of these coming or ordered one nothing wrong with the mattress okay you can put an inflatable on top if you want you do whatever, whatever you like and I've just done this one mattress but it is luxury 100 mils eggshell I'll tell you what it's hard to get out of bed in the morning and it is just really really good so I'll show you more about that later. All right. Hey guys, so we're just going to uh, pack up the rooftop tent. I'll just quickly show you how we do that. So first we'll just get rid of this awning because uh, we had that up last night. Okay, so three easy clips. Okay, so it's just these clips here and uh, the other part stays up in here. So if I can't clip that off, it can just line the ground. I'll pack that up in a minute. Now, we've been basically using a couple of sleeping bags, and uh, these little tie pillows are really good. So, a couple of flat tie pillows, sleeping bag, and <clears throat> these little roll up Cedar Summit pillows are awesome too. They just fluff up really nice. Look at that. These are so good. So we've just been using those really, and there's your two pillows. Now, I've just got a little shelf here with a, a little leather strap. It's really nice just to hold some stuff when you're getting in and out. Now up inside here, I'll just have a quick look, Darren, while I put away the sleeping bags. We've got two blankets and a 12 volt blanket as well. So that's going to stay in there. So I've just flattened them out. And right. yeah, just laid those two blankets out flat. And uh, that's pretty much all we need. Put this away. Handy little shelf there. Okay, so there's basically three steps you need to do. Well, first, just lay your bedding out flat. You know, probably one sleeping bag you could leave in here. Um, put a light in here as well. So, first thing really is undo these two spreaders, okay? 
So there's, there's two, there's one here, and there's one here, the clips. So make sure you undo both of those, all right? Now, if you want to leave your window just a little bit undone, because uh, basically it becomes like a big balloon, and when you close it up, you know, the air just can't get out. So it's important to leave a little bit of air gap. So I've just opened those windows a tiny bit. Um, I've got one of these rags as well now. Pretty good this morning, but we, we, you do get a little bit of condensation inside. So a rag like this is really good. So when you get up, you can just give it a wipe down. And by the time you're ready to pack up, you know, it's nice and dry. Okay, so release those there. So I'm going to zip that door up, but I've left a little bit open here on the inside. So the fly there is a little bit open again so the air can get out. Straps on the outside, just release that a little bit. Press the button. Okay, release that. All right. So that just drops down. I'm just going to swing that in. Okay, you can see there the air. Okay, so it's important that that air can get out. Now, I've got this lockout pole here, and it's just a little uh, DR1008 uh, crab claw spreader, a little short crab claw spreader. I don't really need it, but uh, I've left a bit of gear on the other side, so I've just got there, you know, for a bit of extra peace of mind. But you can see, right, those struts are pretty strong. And they're holding that up really well okay now you don't really need a strap to pull this down because it's you know it's not a huge tent you can see from one step up the ladder i can grab this really easy all right so bring him down about halfway make sure that's tucked in tuck the sides in all right pull that in Get this ladder out. I can do that from there now. Alright. So I can do the rest here now from the side. Just tuck that in again. I'm just going to start from one side. Okay. Pull that one there down. So these are less spine of threes. These are the handiest little thing around camp just for hanging lights and lamps and all sorts of things. So I've just got one on there just to make sure that doesn't come off. Another one up here. That's it. Now we have replaced the rubber ones for two of these over center latches and I just found that a little bit better. Because this is a 1.2 and it's a bit narrower, you've got to pull the latches down and in and it's a little bit tricky when the tent's sitting in. If you had the 1.4, you could pull down a lot easier but uh, these are very easy to put on and we can send those out as a little kit as well for you so well that's it closed up uh, i've got a little bit of gear on top and i'm going to put up there that's it this little awning so this awning comes with a lot of rain last night comes with three poles. Okay, it's got a bit of water run down the pole, so I'll just leave them there to drain.
The bag's a little bit long on this, so we just want to roll it up lengthways. Really, I've got uh, I've got three pegs here, just some snow peak pegs. But uh, most people have got heaps of pegs. Some thirty centimeter stakes is what you want. All right, and just gonna leave those in the bag. Three ropes. Throw them in the bag as well. And that's it, really. So poles go in the same bag. Uh, that's it. So that's the awning packed up, the rooftop tent packed up and uh only takes a few minutes okay guys mm -hmm.